Welcome to fifth grade module uh, four, lesson two. Today we're going to interpret fractions as division. Okay, so let's just think about this for a second. Normally, we think about fractions as being on a number line. Let's say this is uh, zero, one, and two, and the fractions are in between, right? They're numbers that live in between the whole numbers. Uh, but, ooh, I keep writing wrong there. Um, now we're going to talk about fractions in a different way, okay? So this is a fraction, this is a fraction. But now I want to talk about fractions as division, and we're going to start with uh, lesson two, problem set. Draw a picture to show division, okay? So, get my green back there, I like that. Draw a picture to show the division and write a division expression using unit form. Do you remember what unit form is? Like three thirds would be three thirds, okay? Uh, then express your answer as a fraction. The first one is partially done for you. Okay, so one divided by five equals five fifths divided by five equals one-fifth, okay? So one divided by five. Let's draw a picture of that, okay? I have one cookie, no, let's say one pizza, and I have five people who want to eat it, okay? So that one pizza, right, the one pizza, is getting divided into five happy stomachs, mmm, pizza. Okay, so I'm going to have to break this pizza into five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And one goes here, and so that's one-fifth of a pizza. This is one-fifth of a pizza. This is one-fifth of a pizza. One-fifth. My H's aren't coming out there. and one-fifth, okay? So really, one divided by five, one divided by five, or divided into five, equals five-fifths, one, two, three, four, five-fifths, divided by five equals one-fifth, equals one-fifth, okay? So here's our five-fifths, and each one of those, so we're gonna divide by five, is one, one-fifth, each of these, change colors again, each of these slices of pizza is one-fifth of the whole. So one divided by five equals one over five, okay? So we drew a picture. We wrote a division expression, okay, and this one's already done for us, one divided by five uh, in unit form. Then express your answer as a fraction. The first one is done for you. Okay, so number, uh, letter B. Three divided by four. Okay, three divided by four. I'm gonna draw my picture. I have three cookies and four people. So is every person getting a whole cookie? No, we're going to have to split it up, aren't we? So I'm going to split these cookies. Do you know what? I'm going to switch this around. I'd rather use squares for cookies and circles for stomachs, okay? Just so that you can see how I split those cookies up. They're square cookies. Galletas. And um, oop, three, three cookies and four people, three, four happy hungry mouths. Okay, there, ah, teeth, no, okay, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so three people, three cookies, 
and four people. Now, how am I going to split those apart? Because that's not going to split evenly. So I'm going to divide each of these into one fourth, into fourths, sorry. So I have one fourths, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And I'm going to put one here, one here, one here, and one here. So that's one fourth, right? Then I'm going to do it for the next cookie too. So each cookie is getting split into four. One there, one there, one there, one there. So that's another fourth. And then I'm going to do it again. One here, one here, one here, and one here. So each person is getting three fourths of a cookie. Okay, do I need to draw them all in there? I can, I guess. My drawings get worse as the picture goes on. One, two, three, three fourths. Okay, so three divided by four equals How did they do that in the first one? Equals four fourths divided by four. So there we've got our four fourths. We're dividing it by four equals three fourths equals three fourths. Okay, so three divided by four equals three fourths. I hope this is making sense. Division is, uh, fractions are division. Okay, I've said that before. I, I hope you were listening. Let's try this one. Six divided by four. Okay, so we're going to, let's say six apples well, let, let's do something square. Six, what would you prefer? Five, six, we could call that anything we want. Um, six pieces of gum. And we have four people who want to eat that gum. Well, now in this example, I'm going to draw a line here so you don't get confused. In this example, we already know that we can give one to that person, and one to this person, one to that person, and one to this person, and everybody's going to get one whole, right? But these two, we're going to have to split up. So I'm going to split up into fours, and I'm going to give, so that's one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. So this whole thing equals four-fourths, okay? And I'm going to give one of those here, one of those here, one of those there, one here, and that's plus one-fourth. And then I'm going to do it again for the next one. Okay, plus one-fourth. So every person gets, well, one plus one fourth and one fourth equals one and two fourths. All right. Or how could I write that another way? Six fourths. All right. So everybody would get one and two fourths, two fourths, two fourths. All right, so let's write it down. I'm going to get switch colors here. So, 6 divided by 4 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What do we call those? 4. Wait a minute. 4 fourths. Four fourths 
divided by 4 equals One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm not sure what they want us to do there. I don't like using the unit form on this because I don't understand exactly what they're wanting us to do. But I'm just trying to show you that um, that six divided by four equals six over four, which also equals what did we come up with here? One and two fourths. And if you want to simplify that even more, you could say one and one half. Okay, two. Draw to show how, how two children can easily share three cookies. Okay, so we've got one, two, three cookies, and two children. One, two. Okay, and I can just go ahead and give one whole cookie to that person and one whole cookie to this person. And what am I going to do here? I'm going to split it into halves, right? And that gets there, and that goes there. So this person got one whole plus one half, and this person got one whole plus one half, which equals, what did each person get? One and a half. Now, three divided by two, three divided by two equals three halves equals one and a half. Dun, da, da. There, write an equation and expression and express your answers as a fraction. That's our equation right there. Okay, and there's our drawing. Uh, number three, Carly and Gina read the following problem in their math class. Seven cereal bars were shared equally by three children. How much did each child re receive? Okay. So, seven cereal bars by three children. Carly and Gina solve the problem differently. Carla gives each child two whole cereal bars and then divides the remaining cereal bar among the three children. Okay, well, let's draw that. So, here's Carly. She had, okay, she had seven cereal bars. So, she had one, two, three four, five, six, seven cereal bars, and she divides them between three children. Okay, so she gave, Carly gives each child two whole cereal bars, so she just went ahead and went, that's for you, that's for you, that's for you, two each, and then divides the remaining cereal bar among three children, so she divided it into three. So one, two, three. And she gave one third to that person, one third to this person, and one third to this person. So two and one third, two and one third, two and one third. Okay. Gina, so that's Carly. Gina divides all the cereal bars into thirds and shares the thirds equally among the children. So Gina had seven bars. Three four, five, six, seven. And she divides each one into thirds and shares equally among the three children. There's our three children. So she went like this. And this is Gina, right? So here she's got one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. Okay. Gina divides all the cereal bars into thirds and shares the thirds equally among the children. Okay. So one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, and switch colors. This person gets all the twos, one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, 
5 thirds, 6 thirds, 7 thirds. And the last person, 1 third, 2 thirds, 3 thirds, 4 thirds, 5 thirds, 6 thirds, and 7 thirds. So Carly gave each person 2 and 1 third, and Gina gave everybody 7 thirds. Well, what do you know about those two numbers? Ah, explain why they're both right. Well, they're both right because 2 and 1 third equals 7 thirds. And we know that because that also equals 7 divided by 3. 7 bars divided by 3 people equals 2 and 1 third, which also equals 7 thirds. Okay? All right. Number 4. I hope that makes sense to you. Fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. Okay, this is super easy. 2 divided by 3 equals, well, 2 divided by 3 equals 2 thirds. 15 divided by 8 equals 15 eighths. And then if you want to simplify that, you can say 1 and 7 eighths. 11 divided by 4 is 11 fourths, which equals 2 and 3 fourths. Um, 3 halves equals 3 divided by 2. 9 thirteenths equals 9 divided by 13. 1 and 1 third, okay, here we're going to have to change that into 3 thirds plus 1 third equals 4 thirds, right? So that equals 4 divided by 3. Okay. All right, so after you finish your problem set, and I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, please ask in class. Um, take a picture of your problem set and submit it right to the Ed Puzzle page, okay? And then, um, and then do your exit ticket, and it asks you to draw a picture that shows the division expression. Okay, so 3 divided by 9. Remember three things. Go to 9 people three cookies for nine people, then write an equation and solve, okay? And do that for both. So pictures and equations and solve. Three parts there, one, two, three parts to that question. And then part two here is fairly simple. Fill in the blanks to make true number sentences. I think you can do that, just like we just did on the other page. Remember here, you might have to make that into an improper fraction. After you finish the exit ticket, uh, get to the homework, okay? You have one, two, three questions. Oh, that's easy. That third page, second page is super easy too. Shouldn't take you too long at all. Finish your homework. Um, if you have any questions, bring your homework to class. If you don't have any questions, go ahead and turn it in. And... All right, have a great rest of your day.